Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Today is the first video that I film on the new camera that I got. We are very, very busy, have been extremely busy all the last days. And today we want to plant our potatoes. And I believe that you're gonna love this way of planting potatoes. For many it is always a pain, really hard work. But I wanna show you guys how we do it. Let's go. So these are a ton of potatoes and three different varieties. Gonna walk you guys through this, what these are, why we plant them and so on. So you guys recognize that this is where the pigs were and um, they just got moved into the deep bedding area where the cows were, cows are out on pasture. This is where we are planning on planting all the potatoes and um, we have this pile which is the material that the pigs were on. We have old silage, we have the material over there that is out of the greenhouse and we're going to use all of that to mulch the potatoes and eventually this is all going to turn into a big compost pile. Okay, so here we have two different kinds of potatoes. We have um, this one, which when you boil it, turns soft, so it's perfect for uh, mashed potatoes and that kind of stuff. And then we have this potato here. When this one boils, it stays quite firm. So it's perfect for salads or for fried potatoes. And we really love to have both these varieties. It makes the biggest difference um, to use either of them for the right appropriate meal. Both of them store for a very, very long time. And um, we are gonna plant these now. And then we have a third uh, variety that is blue, just for fun, because the flavor of those is just amazing, unbelievable. But this is what we're gonna plant here now. Now planting potatoes has always been a pain when I was a child. Um, where, we, where I grew up in Germany, we used to eat potatoes probably, um, you know, six, seven times a week it felt like. And I love potatoes. I love all different kinds of meals with potatoes. You can do so much with that. And despite of what many people say today, I really believe they're healthy and good for you. And they really feed your family. So we are completely self-sufficient on potatoes. We have been growing that and we try to grow more and easier every time. Now, when I was a child, you know, you would make these rows, you would have to plant in them, you put a little manure on them, you covered them in soil, and then you had all the weeding and all of that. Well, now we do it very differently. Some years ago, I talked to a neighbor here, and I shared with him how we just mulch our potatoes. We basically lay them on the ground, and then we cover them with something. And he said, oh, my dad always used to say that potatoes are not supposed to be put deep into the ground, but they're supposed to have a lot on top of them. Now that might sound like a, a paradox, but what he meant was that um, they, they're supposed to be covered, but not like deep in, in the ground. So that's what, exactly what we're doing when we're mulching these potatoes. We are laying them on the ground here, and then we are covering them with organic matter. You can use um, wood chips, ideally that have started to compost. You can use um, straw, hay, silage, whatever you want to use. Now we use uh, a big variety here th uh, today and it's going to be very exciting. You could use a stick to keep the right distance, stuff like that, but we don't do that. Um, I just lay them, you know, what I, what I feel is, is uh, the right distance here. And of course they're going to grow and they're going to be potatoes everywhere here. Now 
we were a little late this year, but it has also been so cold. But you know, in the springtime, you just get so busy. But these have started to grow a little too much for my taste. Um, it's very, very easy to break them off already, so we have to be careful. But you know, what are we supposed to do? This is what we have to work with now. Okay guys, so I've um, put a bunch of these potatoes on the ground. The pile back there is in the way a little bit, but we're gonna do that soon. Now the plan is, we have some um, deep bedding that has already composted a bunch of it. I'm gonna put a, a thin layer of that over each row, and then we're gonna cover it with that stuff, and with straw, and with silage, and all of that. So, um, let's do that. Potato is a food, a vegetable that's um, probably being sprayed most out of all the vegetables. In a, in a wet summer here in Sweden they can spray potatoes up to five times. So that's something, you know, I definitely want to buy organic, but ideally I want to just grow it myself, I know where it comes from. So now that these rows are covered with um, this compost or manure, most of it is, is already composted all the way, then I, I will just use um, this other organic matter here that we have, just put it on top here. Basically, I just really want to mulch these potatoes with, with all this stuff. And, and what we're doing here is, we're creating a giant compost pile all over this place. And then on top I'm gonna put the deep bedding out of the greenhouse that I've driven out there. And you know, all of this stuff is gonna hold an incredible amount of water. And potatoes love water. So it's gonna rain tomorrow, they say. And, but it's not gonna be enough. So we're gonna put several cubic meters of um, of water just on here and the reason why I put the silage and straw and stuff under here and that other stuff on top is because this dries out so quickly and if this gets wet it composts and if it dries out it'll just stay like this so I'm gonna cover cover this in the sawdust and wood chips and all of that the deep bedding from the chicken uh, from the from the greenhouse and that way it'll stay um, wet and we should have this be composted by the time we harvest these potatoes.
Hey guys, so here you can see behind me how it's gonna be. This is it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm really excited for these potatoes to start growing and see how it'll turn out. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.